okay, it's the bear market. And I said, I'm gonna learn to invest. Yes, okay, so I'm gonna read this book, The Ultimate Money Guide for Canadians. Yeah, investment strategies that really work. Okay, so let's do this. I'm gonna take the time, you know. Ooh, equities. Mm. Ugh, this looks so boring. You know what? You know what? I don't have time for this. I got other things to do. Like, oh yeah, <gasps> bullet train is up for rental. Okay, I gotta watch that. I could do this later. Okay. Hello, it's Tracy, host of Financial Nirvana Mama. Now, I've been actively investing for over 20 years in Canada. I built an investment portfolio of rental properties, of stocks, while working as an engineer, uh, carrying twins, and obviously juggling life. So it is possible. Now, all of us have excuses about not having enough time, but you know what? I'm guilty of it. I make time to watch movies like Bullet Train, which is actually a really good movie, but I totally understand. Maybe some of us don't have hours to read a book. So in today's video, I wanna cover the four best investments you can make right now for the short term and for the long term. And some of these are so easy, it could take you as little as minutes to do this. Now, I highly recommend that you stick around and listen to the fourth investment idea because this is the strategy that I would do if I had to start from scratch. So this is my favorite, favorite investment strategy. Now, the first investment idea is a high interest savings account. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're like, what? I thought you talked about investing. Well, it's true because a high interest savings account right now, we are in a perfect storm where we're in a bear market. Well, and Bank of Canada has been raising interest rates. So guess what's happening with their high interest savings account for the next three to six months, even up to a two years. Look at these rates. These are unbelievable, okay? And you can even open an account as little as minutes. Now, my favorite one is EQ Bank because it's so easy to use. All you need to do is transfer your funds from one bank account to EQ Bank, and then you could just decide which account you want to open. Maybe you want to open a two-year guaranteed investment certificate. Now, we haven't seen these rates very very long time. So if you have extra cash that you're saving up for the very short term, or you just have emergency savings, or you have some money that you have to set aside for taxes, well, this is a great way to do it. Use this high interest savings account, decide what term you want to use, and then collect the money. Oh, by the way, I wanted to mention, you can get $20 for opening an account with EQ Bank. All you need to do is sign up in the link below, open an account and get 20 bucks back. Amazing. So the next investment account is the tax-free savings account. Now we are so lucky in Canada. We can contribute up to $88,000. And if you make investments in this tax-free savings account, it is collected tax-free. Like who wouldn't want that? And there's so much flexibility in the tax-free savings account. Because as your money grows and you decide you need the money, well, you could just take the money out and use it without having to pay any capital gains, nothing. It is the best, the best account to open up in Canada. And everyone should open it up. And next year, we could start increasing our contributions of $6,500. In the past, it was $6,000. A year before, it was $5,500. So they've been steadily increasing the contribution rate into the tax-free savings account, and we should totally take advantage of it. Now, as promised, I wanted to reveal how you could be a tax-free millionaire. So let's math it up. So I'm gonna use this cool calculator by Equitable Life of Canada, and then you put in your age of 30 years old. So say you're starting out 30, and then you want to retire at 65 years old. Okay, now you contribute $88,000 into your TFSA, and then every year you max out your contributions, which works out to be about 500 bucks a month. Okay, maybe sometimes you don't max out your contributions, but you're pretty close because you can contribute up to $6,500. We're just gonna make it super clean and just add $500. You're gonna contribute $500 per month to this TFSA. And then say your expected rate of return is 7%. And assuming inflation in the long term is 2%. Now, of course, um, the last year, two years since the pandemic, it's been an exception. But in the long, long run, you can expect inflation at about 2%. Okay, so let's run the numbers. So it looks like you can be a millionaire when you're at 65 years old. You're going to have $1.8 million. Okay, that is like way more than I thought. Now, of course, not everyone at 30 years old has $88,000 lying around like I certainly didn't when I was 30 years old. 
But what you can do is just play around with the numbers. Now, I changed the amount to $15,000 as your initial savings rate. Okay, say you had $15,000 and you plunked into your TFSA and then you start contributing $500 a month. Well, guess what? By the time you're 65 years old, you're going to be a millionaire. So anyways, all I'm trying to get at, play with the numbers, play with the contributions, and play with the rate of return, and you'll get to see a bunch of scenarios where, well, this is called the millionaire calculator. It's very cool. Now, the third investment account that you must absolutely open is the registered retirement savings plan. We're so lucky in Canada to have this account where we can actually save our money, get tax write-offs, and save for retirement. How this RSP works is that any money that you put in, say, for 2022 or 2023, well, can be used to reduce your income taxes for that particular year. The, way, the year that you contribute is the year you can also start reducing your income taxes from your salary. Another great thing is that when you put in money in there, well, you can invest it in stocks, in indexes, in ETFs, you can do a host of things, or you can actually even invest it in guaranteed investment certificates, which I wouldn't recommend you doing that because you have so many years before you use this fund. So I would really um, encourage you to do more than guaranteed investment certificates. I mean, I assume you do because that's why you're watching this video because those in guaranteed investment certificates are good for short term uh, investments. But for longer term, you need the compounding snowball effect. Now, if you're planning to actually have a higher income after you retire, then maybe the RSP isn't the best mm, account for the long term for you. But I have a strategy for you. Now, before I talk about it, I just want to say, please talk to your tax accountant. OK, I am not a tax advisor. I'm just providing what my experiences have been. So, but please, I don't know your financial situation. I don't give financial advice. So please talk to your account before you use this strategy. So the strategy is you can withdraw from your RSP if you are in a lower income year. So for example, if you're a mat leave and you don't have the additional top ups, then, and you're going to be just collecting the bare minimum, say from EI, well, you can actually withdraw your RSP to help supplement your income that year because you're going to be in the lowest tax bracket anyway. Or maybe you're deciding to, hey, I'm gonna take one year off and you've got a bunch of money in your RSPs, well, you can actually start withdrawing the money from your RSPs. Now, of course, you're gonna pay taxes when you do this, but at least you're doing it at a time where you're gonna be one of the lowest tax brackets in your entire life. So I would say that that's why I think the RSP is a very powerful a tool that we have in Canada and we should absolutely use it. If you are at any point in time going to be in a lower income tax year, whether it's retirement, whether it's in the middle of your career, it's absolutely must have account to open. Also, if you're a first time home buyer, well, you can use your RSPs and use it as an interest free loan to yourself to buy your first home. So that's why I'm saying, please. The RSP is such a powerful account to open and I think everyone in Canada should open this up. Now the next investment is the one that is my absolutely favorite. Okay, if I had to start from scratch, this is one I would do over and over again. That is with your own home. So how it works is that you buy a home that has a rental income suite. So that means a legal secondary dwelling suite that can supplement your mortgage. Now I know, I know you're going to be living with tenants and you're going to be sacrificing privacy. But guess what? Just imagine having part of your mortgage paid off every single year by someone else. And well, all that extra cash that you have, well, you go on a better vacation. You can go on a sabbatical. You can max out all your accounts. You can save up for your kids, if you have kids, for tuition or even inheritance. Well, you could just imagine there's a lot, a lot of opportunities. So that's why I would really encourage you if you buy your first home, well, you can use your RSPs to use it as a down payment towards your first home because it could be interest free loan to yourself. Now, of course, you have to pay it off over a certain amount of time. I think it's up to 15 years, but it's at zero percent interest rate and you can use your RSP to buy your first home. So I would absolutely really encourage you to open up an RSP, and then if you're a first time home buyer, use those funds, buy a home with an income suite, and then you could literally almost live for free because someone else is paying off your mortgage. And if you decide, hey, you know what? After five years or so, you're like, ah, oh, this home's, I need an upgrade. Well, that's okay. You can actually move out of that home and go and convert it into a rental property. So you could have two sources of income coming in to supplement your next 
home, okay? Just imagine two income sources helping you now pay off your mortgage on your next home that you're gonna upgrade to. Maybe it's a little bit bigger because you want your own privacy, you don't wanna share uh, units, or maybe you just wanna continue on that and buy another home with an income suite. And imagine if you rinse and repeat this three times in your life, you definitely have a possibility of becoming a millionaire before you retire. If you want to check out my playlist on real estate investing, well, go up here. Now, if you want to learn to grow passive income, basically like a salary for life without having you to work harder, check out this playlist up here. Anyways, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.